Welcome to Native Honor Hours. We're back again for another week. My name is Ed Zendejas. We're back for season two. And you are? I'm Cindy Kraft because they know who I am. No, I think everybody forgets who you are. No, they know who That's I am. That's what they tell me out on the street. <laughs> Who's that woman? You know? Is that what was her? Uh, they don't no, know, I don't know. They don't know me at Family Fair. Isn't that where no, you go? No, they don't know you at the, at the fair. But we're, we're back and uh, we'd like to start off by recognizing a couple of tribes that haven't having powwows here pretty soon? Yes, we have the Winnebago powwow this week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, by the time this airs, it won't be on, but No, least. but it's a good one. Winneb I like the Winnebago powwow. Winnebago's put on a good I like to go up powwow. on Friday. They do. And the great food. Yeah, then really my tribe's good putting food. on there. When is the Omaha powwow? It's uh, uh, August 20-something to 20-something. I don't know. 27th is it the last I'm for some reason I'm seeing the last weekend in August you know what in a future show I'll have the date believe it or not I already sent in for to get our date for powwow 2019 when are, when are we having that one of the first two weekends in April I requested okay that way the kids don't usually when Creighton still had a powwow they were the first and we they need to make sure brother Gary weeks. can make it there oh I know how could we have a powwow without Gary can't have it. But, so we always went the last two weeks and that was right in the middle of finals. So we had kids literally who could not come and work at Pow Wow because they had to study for finals. And what was I going to say? No, don't I study would. for finals. I would. where's your priorities at? <gasps> I'm the Native American Outreach Coordinator. Recruit, nope, retain, where's your graduate. priorities? Come on, get out here. I've done it for a few but, of them. But that's, uh, that's way long ways away. We don't even... I know, but you plan far, far out. Uh, yeah. Niobrara's coming up. The Ponca Pow in Niobrara, August... 12th, 13th, 14th, 11, 12th, 13th, okay. somewhere along well, that I'll, line. Well, I'll get the exact date for when you, uh, maybe we'll share It's it powwow season. It is, you know, people are out going, doing all kinds of stuff, so. And, and it is hot, 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 hot at some of those powwows. That would have been, the Omaha powwow I went to one year, I almost passed out. It was the last time I went to the Omaha powwow, it was too hot. Well, should we, should we get into our, what we're gonna talk about this week? Shall we? You want to introduce it? Well, believe it or not, they're giving the Native Americans a Hall of Fame in what, 2018, finally. No, it was a group of natives that got together and said, hey, we don't have a, they have a Women's Hall of Fame, they have they Men's have a Hall, Hall of, of Fame, fame for everything. They have, but nothing for Baseball, natives. Baseball, basketball, you name it, yeah, they got so a nothing, Hall of Fame for Nothing it. for Native folks, so they, they got together and actually it was a couple months ago, they, they put it out on, uh, I think it's Indian Country Today, where they listed 30 names in it. Did you vote? No, I didn't even read it. I didn't see it. I wish I would because the list it that was, we're talking was a, about is not inclusive. It was an internet vote. You can inclusive. go on there and click for 10 names, I think it was. And uh, I, I clicked on my 10, and they said, any suggestions? And I suggested- Yourself. That, not yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty close. I'm getting there. Maybe a couple more seasons on you know, the of the show. On the Native Honor Hour show. You know, once we start winning those uh, public go, access Emmys, yeah. do they even have those? Public a daytime television. We'll, no, I'll, no, we'll it's got to be pub no, in, public in the public access, access category. Like the, Maybe like we should suggest that. I know, and if they have one, we would like to be nominated for it. In the native access community television, Native American genre. I wonder how I many. I think we might be know, the only ones. I wonder how many shows there are that are hosted in. <clears throat> co-hosted by Native Americans, about Native Americans, for Native Americans. I don't know. I, I think I, if there's any out there, let us know. We, we want to compare, see what you guys do, because we just, we just wing it. But if they're serious news shows, we'll be embarrassed. No, we won't. <laughs> no, we won't. You're right. Because I've been hanging out with you for, what, 10 years now? I'm still not embarrassed. You ruined my street, Have every cred. reason to be. You ruined my street, kid. I am constantly embarrassed by you. I just... Overlook. Well, should we, should we talk about some of the Let's inductees? Do. Let's do. All right. The the first one was at uh, Vine Deloria. Vine Deloria. And you know, he would be at the top of my list, too. The top of your list? He's very prof. You know, he and uh, he's a friend of yours. They were two very prolific writers on politics and, and the state of Native Americans. A friend of think, mine. Yes. Yes. He I don't have professor. that very many friends. Yes, you do. You'll well, think once of they it, get to know me, they done, hate when, me. When we're done with the show, we'll think about it. But Vine Deloria Jr., everybody knows who he is. Everybody has read Custer Dies for Your Sins. God is red. 
I don't know if it would be everybody. I think most natives. At least, especially if you got any kind of native education. That was, I think, one of the first books assigned to me. All right, well, well there's uh, Vine Deloria Jr. I think his son even teaches at Harvard or something like that. His son, his son is different. Remember we had him, he was on that uh, mascot show for the film festival and he said some pretty questionable things. He seemed to me like he leaned more towards the other way. I don't, I don't know. But, but yeah, Vine Deloria Jr. for you, sure. You want to know who what I, th tribe was I, th he? I thought would be the most uh, recognizable? Who? Jim Thorpe. Well, Jim Thorpe and Billy Mills, I'm sure, were one and two. For me, I just said Vine Deloria Jr. Okay, I, I, think, I think many people know of Jim Thorpe and of his story, and I, I thought, I, I think he would have been the most recognizable uh, native in history. Safe to say that? If anybody thinks I'm wrong, you know, and there though Billy Mills be, was international. Jim Thorpe was pretty much America. I would say Billy no, Mills no, was... No, Jim Thorpe was an Olympic gold medal. That's true. The, the, That's the decathlon. True. That's true. You know, he and was, didn't he, was he stand up against Hitler? When, when you win that title, they, they crown you the greatest athlete in the world. What, what, wasn't there a movie about him? A really old black and white one? Yeah, it was starred, uh, who was it? Uh, Gregory Peck or somebody like that? Somebody like that. Yeah, you know, a white guy played him. You know, I, I but, must say, I don't but he wasn't know just an, an Olympic athlete. He played professional Hall of Fame in the in football. Mm -hmm. Also played professional baseball. That's sort of what got him in trouble and got his medals take his medal taken away from him. What tribe was he? He was Sac and Fox. Sac and Fox. They're in Kansas, right? Uh, his Oklahoma. Oklahoma. There's there's several other Sac and Foxes, but I think he was from Oklahoma. Notice how she comes to me for information like that? Sports that's, that's information. Yeah. When we're ready to talk about some of the others, I have more information. Actually, Jim Thorpe was named uh, the greatest athlete by ESPN, the greatest athlete of the first half of the 20th century. And then the, the second half was Michael Jordan. Wow. Yeah, really? so that's... That, I, that's, I, I, that's good company. I would, I would think Jim Thorpe would have to be at the top. I would say so too, and you know, Billy Mills not only was great, but he's done so much for the people since. I mean, I don't know what Jim Thorpe's later years were like, but Billy Mills is everywhere, given scholarships. No, he talking has to the kids. he has the running running strong foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, they they do a lot of great work on. They really country. do. They really do. He's he was uh, just up very at impressive. A, they had a run against violence up at uh, He Dog School. And he was up there cheering him on. He's always everywhere. He shows up. Remember how nice he was when he was here? He's, he's the nicest. Just he really, he, really is. He's, he's one of the nicest, just good guys you'll ever meet. He's just, a, he's just an incredible man. I remember what I remember about people is how they treat other people. He stayed that night that he was here until every single person who wanted his autograph got his autograph. He stayed through everything, every single story people were telling him. And at one point I was thinking, just move on, folks, let's move on. And he was just kind and patient. He loved their stories. I'll have to tell my wife. And he, he made you feel like you were the only one in there that yes, he was talking to. Yes. He gave you the time and you just sit there and just looked to you and nodded and interacted with you. He's, he's, a, he's a great guy. So we've had one of the top 10 names at UNO. Actually, Vine Deloria came to UNO. Not be, years that ago. was before my time. Yeah, he came. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Vine Deloria. Who else we have? Scott Mamaday. And Scott Mamaday, author. Author. Pulitzer winner. You know, I had to read some of his literature, and they don't, it's very um, academically written, or, or, or it's, it's very hard to just understand. It's not like a novel. <laughs> you pick up a novel. It's and not like a cartoon, you something that you think. can understand. Yeah, huh? M. Scott Mamaday makes you think. He's a thinking man. Well, so is writer. Vine Deloria Jr. Yes. One of my favorite Vine Deloria Jr. books was, um, oh gosh, we just read it. Never mind. We just read it for book club. Can anybody help me out? No, we don't read. Uh, let's finish up with the guys. Okay. Uh, so how many was that so far? M. Scott Mamaday. Uh, 
three, four. Four. We've uh, got the Alan Hauser. The astronaut. No, no, Alan Hauser was oh, a sculptor. No. I've never heard of him before. I have to confess, I I haven't I haven't heard of him. You know, and we'll get to this later, but to say he's more belongs in the Hall of Fame. You know what? I don't I don't want to take away from any of them. Certainly what they've done. I don't want to say he shouldn't have made it, she shouldn't have made it, and somebody who else should've, should've. else should have made it. It, it's who else should have made it. But when you put a sculptor against someone like Susan LaFleche, the first female Native American woman Well, let's save those for, for who we thought should also okay. be in there. Okay. All right, so we have uh, Alan Hauser, who we don't well, I am going to go home about. and look up his sculpture, though. Maybe we know it. We just have never, we just didn't know who made it. Maybe, but... Uh, but I'm not real big at artsy stuff like that. Do you go to museums and look at sculpture and art? I somehow sensed that was your no, answer. No. Uh, then the other one is someone uh, from your neck of the woods, Lionel Bordeaux. Now, him, we're not sure, is actually on no, this it, list it or the is. waiting list. He's, he was he's the there. longest president of Sichangu. Is it Sinta Gleske? Sinta Gleske, yep. He's Sichangu, okay. longest president of the tribal college. That's, that's your people then, That's right? my people. That's my tribal college. Ah, it's he's about, representing. It's about... 20 minutes away from where my family lives. Okay. So he's, who knew that the school has been open that long? I guess that's one thing that should be looked at. All right, so that uh, Lionel Bordeaux, and the last one is the, the astronaut, astronaut, John yes, Harrington. Yes, I Chickasaw. Didn't even know he was, did you? You didn't know who no. he was, really? Yeah, no. You know what, I remember the um, ambassador that was killed overseas in that raid what yeah, was yeah he in was native Benghazi. he was he was part uh, alaskan, alaskan. One yeah of those in you i think he was inuit inuit i think mm -hmm. but he didn't make the hall of fame no he didn't i guess <coughs> dying for your country is not good enough uh if you're wondering they're all they're all laid out in front of us and we're, we're not that we're not up there to get cue cards if maybe we had cue cards made pull it up but Maybe next time we'll work on that. But those are the, the six gentlemen men that made it. Yes. You want to talk about the men who should we thought should also have made it or we want to yes. save until after? Yes, let's do it. Let's go, let's go right in there. How about, the, how about the first Native American vice president of the United States? You know, when they had that, when, when they had the internet voting on there, and they said make suggestions, I, I, I typed in uh, Charles Curtis, vice president, of the United States under he was under Hoover he was he was born on the res yep he spoke his language he was yes. Ka Osage yes. he spoke his language he was raised he was part he was part white and mm -hmm. part uh, Ka Osage and uh, he was raised born on the res and uh, spoke his language and his mom died I think it was his grandma died who was raising him but uh, and his White grandparents took him and raised him in Wichita, Wichita, Kansas, where he, of all things, you surprised I know this, he was, he was a jockey. He was a horse jockey. Yeah. And then he got in, for some reason he got into politics, went to law school, or went, or, back then you really didn't have to go to law school to be an right. attorney. And he ended up, you know, practicing law and got into politics and was voted in as a House of Representatives in Congress, and later Senate, and then was tabbed as uh, as Hoover's vice president. So he, he served as one one heartbeat away from what the presidency. Some of, I wonder what some of the ads were like during that time. I wonder if they were as contentious as we were. I wonder if his native ancestry was thrown in his face. I don't know. We don't didn't have internet or TV. We're gonna have to. to I'm gonna have to look that up. You should. I'm good. You know, I, I'm, I'm wondering if he was a Republican, and I'm wondering if the committee sort of held that against him. It doesn't matter. He was I, the first. I, do, I agree with you. And you're talking to, me, to a die, 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 die hard liberal. To me, but he was it's still about the first. accomplishment. Yes. And you can't accomplish much more than being one heartbeat away from the presidency. Or how about being Link Ray? Who? Link Ray, possibly the most influential guitarist. Guitarist. Who should have made the music hall the, of fame. And has not, but should have definitely been should have in this at hall least of fame. Had more and what about the actors? What, wait, what wait, 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 wait. Before we go any further, they left out Redbone. Redbone oh was on the original list. I know. And, and, I, and I checked the box thinking Redbone has to make it. 
And they didn't. They didn't make it. No. Did Graham Greene make it? I'm disappointed. Graham Greene didn't make it. West Studi. Academy Award nominated. West Studi. De West Studi didn't make didn't it. Didn't make it. Brother Gary didn't How make it. How about John Trudell? How about any of the, the founding fathers of AIM? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, you looking at uh, Dennis Banks, Russell Yes, Haynes. yes. No. But yet we have a, a sculpture, which makes me even feel bad that I'm saying this, but a sculpture that no one has ever heard of. How many people do you think have not heard of Graham Greene? How many natives do you think don't know who Graham Greene is? I don't know. Uh, for that matter, you know, Adam Beach. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a number of them that... And Adam, who did Adam Beach portray in the movie? Ira Hayes. Ira Hayes. I Good mean, one. realistically, no Ira Hayes. You know, when you think of, when you think of Laura, well, we're getting into the women. Lori <laughs> yeah. Pius Dewa is on there. And she, she was known, famous for being a first woman killed in, in action, but in the Iraq war, but... Ira Hayes is, is part of that iconic raising of the flag at Iwo Jima. You think? Or how about it, any of the Navajo code talkers? The code talkers. You could have. The original You could 20. have collectively, you know, any code talker put in the Hall of Fame. Mm hmm But. But no. But no. But no. Any others? There was when we were talking. Now my mind has gone blank. Your mind goes blank fairly easily. I'm 60. It happens. Wait till you're 60. Your mind will go blank. Are you well, 60 already? I am. And fabulous. Yes. All right. Well, you are old. I know. That's why I'm retiring, for the love of God. Any other, any other men in there? Yeah. Well, Graham, Gary, Farmer. Oh, well, we, he's famous with us. He's, he can go in our Hall of Fame. Gary can be in the UNO Native American Hall of Fame. I know Ben Nighthorse Campbell. Oh, Ben Night. One of the most Republican influential senator. senators for Native Americans. Yeah. He accomplished quite a bit for the people. How about Evan um, Adams? Yes, the head of Indian Health in Canada. That's in Canada. Oh, this is only Americans. It should be. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. All right. Should we talk about uh, some of the women? Which oddly, there's more of. My favorite, and the one I will not argue even for a minute, is Maria Tallchief. Maria Tallchief I grew is? Up, I grew up, my mom wanted me to be a ballerina so bad she could taste it. My feet would bleed and she'd say, toughen up, what do you think Maria Tallchief did? I wouldn't want to practice, she'd say, toughen up, what do you think Maria Tallchief did? She was determined I was going to be Maria Tallchief. I, I took ballet for 16 years because of her. I hate to say this, but I think you let her down. Oh, I did. <laughs> I did. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted seen, to join a commune, not be a ballerina. We've seen you move. Hey, I've got rhythm. Especially when you're chasing M and M's on the table. At least I can dance. I've never seen. Do you dance? No. I dance. It's fun. No. You should dance. I, I will admit this. And you know, we're on TV. I did win a high school dance contest once. <laughs> Was it break dancing? Uh, or OJ's? No, it was. It was yeah. See, you should dance. No, Dancing's uh, fun. I can't even stand upright anymore. <laughs> but Maria Tall Chief forth. was. Both of her parents were Native American. She was. She's from Oklahoma. She. Osage. Yes, yes. She was a beautiful woman. In fact, she was married to um, Leonard Bernstein. All right, I'll Very let you take. Name. I can't challenge you on Maria you Tallchief because I, I, I don't know. And then of course Wilma Mankiller. Wilma Mankiller, which first you have to say yes. Chief of the Cherokees. Yes. Uh, Although went on to you realize that a lot of the tribes pre-conquest were matriarchal and had women chiefs. A lot there are stories of women chiefs all through history. That's why they qualify by saying elected chief. Oh, elected. Well. How do you know that the others weren't? Because they didn't. We didn't have elections back True then. True that. True that. That's a that's a European uh, colonization tactic. How long they did Wilma serve? I can't remember. There was a there was a uh, documentary about her, and a movie. I I, I think it was one or I two terms. I think we showed it at one of our film festivals. I think we did, and I forgot how long it was. Uh, the other one is Ladonna Harris. I can't tell you how much whole bunch. I can't about her. either. She's Other the head of a native uh, 
Indian Opportunities nonprofit organization. Let's. Uh, okay. But I can tell you a lot about uh, Eloise Cobell. Which I agree, she belongs on the list. Eloise, yes. Eloise definitely belongs on the list. Mm -hmm. Uh, the lead plaintiff and the the trust. See, that's the thing that gets me about Eloise Cobell. You go on a res, and people will, will use that. You get your Cobell, get your Cobell check, and I don't think too many people know who she is or was that led to them getting that check and uh, I being disagree. so influential. I think I disagree. I think because of who she was in the long, long fight. I think most natives, urban and reservation, knew who she was. I did some just anecdotal kind of asking people. They don't know. That was on your reservation, though, Ed. No, this was this was uh, in the general public area. Of white people? No. I'll do my. Members. I will do. I will whenever do my Whenever someone, own. whenever so, here's what happened. Whenever someone told me, "Oh, did you get you? Did you get a Cobell? You getting your Cobell?" And I, I said, "No." I said, "Do you do you know what a Cobell is?" No, it's a check. I, I just get a check. I and got it was Cobell. it wasn't just granted. There were some relatives in there that are Omaha, but there were others as well that I asked. I, I just wanted to get a sense to see if anybody well, if knew they why they, they were getting that know check. Who? She's one of the very first people to take the government to task for their. No, there there were others, but she was tenacious in doing that. So it was. Uh, who brought lawsuit against the R word, football team? She didn't make it, Suzanne Harjo. Yeah. I was going to mention that, but we, let's let's okay. finish up here. Uh, Lori Pius Dewa, she was, uh, I mentioned her briefly. She was the first woman that got killed in combat in the Ar Iraq War. They renamed, they, they called it Squaw Peak down in Phoenix. Now it's Pius Dewa Peak. Thank, and, and you know, I think she deserves to be there. After. She deserves to be there. So she, she's women, there. Ha women fought long and hard to get into the service. Uh, let's see who else. She was a hero. Wilma, Maria, LaDonna Lori, Harris, LaDonna we already Harris, said her. Elise Cobell. Uh, I, th I thought they'd mentioned Recente. Oh, no, they did. Rinalde Basente. Yes. WNBA basketball player. The first one, however. I was, you no, know who didn't make it? I know. Shoney. I know. You remember, she was the, the rage. You know, yes. I remember. We were going to go watch women's well, and basketball for the men, in the tournament. Neither did, neither did our young men from the lacrosse the Thompson team, the, brothers. the Thompson brothers. They should have been there. They're very influential. I think maybe these are, you almost have to be dead or close. You know what I'm saying? Well, then because they left out Su uh, Susan LaFleche, first Native first, American doctor. How could they do that? How could they know. leave her out? I mean, because realistically, she blazed a trail. They left out. She was the native. She was a woman. Suzanne Harjo fighting Joy against Harjo. mascots for yep. all the, the litigation against uh, Dan Snyder for all these years. Mm -hmm. I actually met her down in University of Kansas a couple years back, and she signed. Uh, they had a poster there, and she signed it for me. We start talking about mascots, and you know, she was. I, I thought she was really at ease in talking with somebody who knows you know, a lot about the mascot issues. And I actually told her that UNO was the first uh, school to, to change their Indian mascot. And, she, and she's, she gives credit, to, uh, historically they give credit to Stanford. And if you look at it, we, UNO, we beat Stanford by about six months. I had to do a research project on a famous, na uh, a famous Omaha woman and went down into the archives at the library and was and was looking at some of the old yearbooks <gasps> little white girls with on the floats all dressed in their yeah they costumes. took a lot of those pictures down on campus well there's still some but, in but, um durham that were fighting yeah but suzanne harjo didn't make it and uh there you know who didn't make it that should definitely have made it who winona leduc hemp farm you see, that's what she's doing vice, now? Ran for vice president with yes, Nader. Yes, yes. Well, all kinds of stuff. Then uh, Diane Humatewa, the first federal court judge, native woman, federal court judge. I thought she You know what I don't it. think we're good at? I don't think we're good at sharing the word. I don't think that unless you follow Indian country today or that you don't, you don't see it, you don't read it because it's not national news. Well, let me get to our knucklehead of the week. I had to write this down. 
I, and I have to mention this, it's a group called Daily Caller News Foundation. They're just, you're, you're shaking oh, your they're, head. I was so mad when I listened to that. They're knuckleheads. The, well, let, me, let me frame it real quick. They put out one of these little videos about uh, Facebook bashing video. Facebook. They, they bash Facebook because apparently Facebook uh, sort of censored or took out some of the language in, when they were hate on the 4th of July. They said it was hate speech. They said the part in the declaration that refers to Native people as the merciless Indian savages. Yes. So they, they, they took it out. And then this group does this little video bashing Facebook for doing that, which, you know, I don't agree with taking stuff out. It's a Certainly, historical document. It's a historical document. I think it should stay there so all that all the people can see who we were, who we were in our, our, our racist past. But anyway, he makes a statement. I, I want to, he said, he said, uh, that language meaning merciless Indian savage might not fly today or fr might not fly now, might not fly now, but it was certainly accurate at the time. My and head exploded a little I know, bit when I, was I like, heard that. Then I went and checked out the website, and then I tried to figure out who to write to, but those websites never really, and the comp, people are so ignorant. I know, but they're, they are knuckleheads for doing that, because for them, for them to say it was certainly accurate, like, and, and, and I guess from a standpoint. Merciless savages? From a, from a legal standpoint, I guess you can say yes, because the Supreme Court dubbed them that. In Johnson versus McIntosh. Well, you spent quite a bit of time discussing whys, wherefores, and what's it's about that with us. B but they are certainly right up there. They, that Hall of Fame knuckleheads. Yes. The Daily Ooh, Caller, let's wherever have a they hall, are. Hall of we fame. could. But uh, anyway, they go there for saying it's certainly accurate and might not fly today. But anyway, it was a good show. Yes. And we'll uh, we'll see you back next week or so. We'll Season two. Have a good week.